Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Astrology and Tarot Report for April 14th, 2022. So today we have a busy day in the skies, but this is kind of becoming the norm around here. So let's get into it. So the moon is currently in Virgo and the moon in Virgo continues to kind of push us towards getting our day to day things in order, taking care of errands, paying attention to the details of our life. So you're going to want to keep picking up the burden right by putting down the habits allowing yourself to do things and make moves that bring your dreams into fruition now it's been a foggy kind of morning because the moon opposed both neptune and jupiter so this adds this desire to really expand but then we're foggy and dreamy and this is a point where you need to just let yourself breathe and go into the rhythm and get what you can get done when you can get it done remember even though virgo has this notorious energy of wanting everything to be perfect and we are learning how to let ourselves give breath in between the process. Now, then we have the moon going void at 2.21 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. when it moves into Libra. So there's still gonna be this energy of wanting to get things done and wanting to make things happen. And this is amplified even more by a trine to Pluto before the moon goes void. So this trine to Pluto energy is actually really good, right? It's like, okay, well, whatever happens, whatever's going on, I got this. Me and Hades, we're cool. I like to dance in the fire and burn it all away so that I can have a refinement, really treating yourself like a piece of gold. And then at 11, 15 p.m., we have Mars moving into Pisces. And Mars moving into Pisces is actually a really beautiful energy for Mars. It helps cool it down. It helps us really give our focus to our spiritual matters, our meditations, and our unseen desires. It also helps us do behind the scenes healing around things like our addictions, our bad habits, our toxic attachments. Have you guys been noticing a pattern here so overall it is a really beautiful day but let yourself work it out and get it out and the card of the day is the queen of swords one of my favorite cards actually all right, so when we have the Queen of Swords coming in, this is where you're letting yourself be logical. You're letting you're picking up your sword and you're leveling saying, I love you but I'm gonna cut it, right? And you're cutting it with yourself, you're cutting it with other people, you're really giving yourself balance and flow, which actually really works as we're going from that Virgo to Libra moon. And when the moon moves into Libra, then we are gonna be more about our partnerships and being diplomatic because we are building to the full moon in Libra on Saturday. I've already dropped a video for the Mars and Pisces transit on my YouTube and on my Facebook. So if you wanna go and check that out, definitely do that. I'll probably drop it on my Instagram too just make it easier for everybody and i love you guys so much i'll see you tomorrow bye